Welcome to a new video about analog filter design. In this example, we will discuss the narrow band, band stop filter using the 20 network. We will see everything step by step in our calculations and verify these in SPI simulations. Before we discuss our design problem, let's first discuss the 20 network band stop filter. This circuit is shown here. You see here the T network, another T network here, which is then like so. And you see that this resistor is twice the resistor which you have here and the capacitor which you see here is also the double of these two capacitors there and we have also two operational amplifiers in the unity gain feedback configuration functioning as a voltage buffer in addition we have here a voltage divider using these two resistors and the parameter x the details will be discussed shortly and we have here the transfer function for this circuit that is given by this vo over vi is here using the transfer function for the zero and the second order term in the denominator. So you have a second order in the numerator and also a second order in the denominator. The standard form of a second order band stop filter that is given by this expression. You see here the parameters k, which is the passband gain, the gain at the DC, and also a gain at the high frequencies. The Omega BW, that is the bandwidth in radius per second, and you have also the omega center, which is our center frequency, which is also called the resonant frequency, again in radians per second. Now, if you compare now the terms of this transfer function for this circuit and the standard form of the transfer function for a band stop filter, second order, then we can recognize the following. The K must be a 1 because you see that this is actually exact same as that one, only the K is not there, so it's then 1. The omega bandwidth, which is this 4 times 1 minus x over RC, that's shown here. And we also see that omega center here, omega center here, squared, is 1 over this R squared C squared. So it will be then omega itself will be the square root of that one, which is this 1 over RC. Okay, now we have our comparison done. Now we can develop the design equations using these expressions. Now the R can be expressed like so, 1 over the center frequency in radians per second and also the capacitor in the denominator. The parameter x we see here and also in the transfer function is given by this expression. You can use this expression and that and work it towards this expression. We see here 1 minus 1 over 4 q and the q here is the quality factor which is the ratio of the center frequency and your bandwidth. Okay, now we have the sufficient information to do our design example. We like to have a narrow band, active band stop filter, which is also called the notch filter. We will use this 20 filter circuit. The specification for our design, center frequency must be 400 Hertz. The bandwidth must be 4D Hertz and our gain at the passband region must be one or zero dB. Okay, let's also bring again our circuit up. This is the circuit. So we need to calculate all the resistor and the capacitors in this circuit. Okay, let's go to the calculations. First, we look at our filter parameters. In this case, we have only actually one parameter, which is the quality factor. So we can right away calculate that, which is the 400 over 40, and that is then equal to 10. You see that this is a high quality factor, so the Q is pretty high, and that's also why we call this a narrow band filter. Now we can calculate the component values using the quality factor and also the other parameter, which is the X here, we will calculate shortly. Now, by selecting the capacitor here, these two capacitors, and also addition to, of course, this capacitor, we can calculate the other nodes in this circuit. In this case, I will select C is equal to 10 nanofarads. And then we can calculate this resistor here, which is in 1 over the center frequency, and also the C in the denominator. That will result in the following value, which is an approximately 40 kilo. Okay, we have also now the Q here, and also then we can calculate our X, that is then X is equal to 1 minus 1 over 4Q, which is then actually this expression. And you see here that this is 0 0.975. Okay, now we can use that to calculate the X times R, which is shown here, and also the 1 minus X in parentheses times R, again the resistor R we have calculated here, and that will result in these two resistor values. So this value, the resistor here, will be approximately 39 kilo ohms, so 38.79 kilo ohm. And this resistor here will be 995 ohms, so almost one kilo ohm. 
Now with these values we have now the design completed and now in summary you see here C, two times C, the resistor and also the half of the resistor because it will be here and the other two resistors there. Okay. Now the simulation circuit is shown here. We see here the circuit. You see indeed the resistors here. The two resistors are the capacitor twice, the 20 nanofarads, 10 nanofarads, 10 nanofarads, and also two operational amplifiers. And these two resistors we have calculated here. Okay, let's now go to the simulation result, which is the body plot. You see here the gain plot here, and also our circuit is also again shown here. In order to enlarge this, I have plotted the linear axis, which is the frequency scale in the linear region. So this one, so x axis is linear, so 1, 0, 100, 200, so not in log scale normally, which you see in the body plots. This is the gain. You see here at the low frequency that the gain is indeed 0 dB or 1, so as we want it. But you also see that at high frequencies. So it is 0 dB, then it gets a very sharp notch, which is then at this frequency, which is 400 Hz, which is as we wanted, which is our center frequency, also called the notch frequency. And you also see at the gain, which is minus 3.01 dB, because that is the baseline of 0 dB, that happens at 300 80.5 Hz, which is our lower cutoff frequency. And we can define it as like so. And now you also see the same gain if you go to the frequency of 420.5 Hz, which is actually coming from here and then going down by this much gain. And that is the upper cutoff frequency. And we can define it by this expression. And now the bandwidth is then defined as the F bandwidth is the upper cutoff frequency minus the lower cutoff frequency. And you see here the values and that will be 40 hertz as we wanted so we can say the design is indeed as we wanted so we have verified our calculations using the spice simulations if you have any questions please let me know and i will try to answer them as soon as possible don't forget to like and share these videos so that we can reach more people for these interesting topics thanks for your cooperation and see you next time in another video